All right, guys, so we're out here in the trial rows, and I think I need your help on this one, because what I thought was simply a tetraploid tie tri seedling is now confusing me going into our second season because as I've been looking at the leaves and their size and shape, along with the differences in these plants sprouting back from the winter, uh, main thing being that the new growth is only green on this plant, whereas on our original Thai Tri, the sprouts were actually coming out as a purplish or reddish color. So I noticed that difference, and I noticed that these leaves are massive. <laughs> and of course we do expect the leaves to be larger and thicker if this is a tetraploid. But they bear a close resemblance to citromello leaves. Which, as you can see here, this is our dingle citromello that we grafted. It's a swingle seedling. But I noticed actually quite a resemblance between like our swingle and our dingle and Iva, citra uh, Iva swingle citromello. All those types of like swingle and swingle variations and our Thai tri 4 n Now the seeds and the original seedling came from Virginia Fruit Grower, who does have Thai tri and swingle. And, well, he has a lot of other citrus varieties in his collection. I originally sent him this photo, and I believe he's the one who suggested that this could have been pollinated by a citromello. And I wasn't quite sure at the time. I was like, well, the roots are thicker, it's growing very vigorously and everything. Maybe it's just a tetraploid. Um, but now, as I consider things further, I, you know what, I will submit the leaves for testing to see if this does have two sets of chromosomes, so I will compare it to Thai Tri uh, in, a, in a laboratory setting. We'll, we'll get that um, submitted with our leaf samples for the chimeras that we have, so the rank per lime and finger lime chimera. But that may help us kind of decipher further whether or not this is a hybrid. Uh, and if it is a hybrid between a citromello and a Thai Tri, well, that's a really interesting combination, and, and the fruit on this may actually be pretty cool, and obviously very lemon-like between the two. I actually did notice the leaf taste slash fragrance was better on these than the original Thai Tri. Um, you know, perhaps a little bit less of that skunkiness that is present uh, in the leaves and the, the oils of this plant here. But again, that is a normal Thai Tri leaf. And this is our Thai Tri 4N, as we've been calling it. Again, none of these names are really set in stone because now I may have to reconsider what I call this thing. But I want to ask you guys, what do you think? Do you think this was pollinated by a citromello? It does appear that Thai Tri produces more zygotic seeds than I originally anticipated and more than a lot of people had thought. Because uh, I've seen on the Tropical Fruit Forum other people germinating Thai Tri seeds and getting uh, a decent range of different seedlings. I mean, our Bi Thai Tri, so our, our Thai Tri here that has the unifoliate and bifoliate leaves, that was also from that same batch. And I'm selecting even more seedlings this year that are similar to that, uh, where they have a different leaf form than the original Thai Tri. So I have been selecting different variations because I think some of them may have the potential to taste better or have other more valuable qualities than the original Thai Tri itself. But I'm really curious now, and you know what, I'm not upset if this is a citromello hybrid because regardless of what it is, it proved to be one of our hardiest citrus seedlings we had out here. In fact, a lot of the citromello um, seedlings that we did test to begin with also performed really good, like our improved Sacaton and Swingle, uh, and some of the others that could have been pollinated by a citromello, like the uh, triclemuse, which we're not sure on its exact origin either. It's kind of just like that. With a lot of these open pollinated seedlings, we're kind of guessing and speculating based on how the plants appear and their origin. So some stuff is a bit hazy, but ultimately the most important thing is, will these varieties perform well in terms of cold hardiness, and will they produce fruit that are very valuable and or good tasting? Uh, in some way. So I'm excited to see the outcome of all of these really, uh, but pretty cool to see in the second season just how much uh, Thai Tri 4N is distinguishing itself. And it was fairly, uh, I want to say mostly evergreen. It was very reluctant to drop its leaves, which could be some of that citromello side maybe, because uh, most of the Thai Tri 
did eventually give up all of their leaves, but Tri 4 n was a bit more reluctant. So we're going to figure things out with this one, <laughs> get it tested, get it figured out. Let me know what you think of the origin of this plant. Uh, consider where it came from and what it looks like compared to another Citromello. I think they bear a striking resemblance, actually. But we know for a fact that this seed did come from a Thai tri fruit, so there's that. Um, and let's not forget, too, that these, these scions are really overgrowing the trifoliate rootstock, which could be another sign, well, it could be a sign of either or. I suspected that both as a tetraploid or as a hybrid with something like a citromello, it would be able to outgrow the trifoliate orange. It's simply going to be more vigorous, thicker, uh, so on and so forth. Um, even the roots, the roots were thicker and less fibrous, but for all I know, that could also be a sign of it being a hybrid with a citromello. I'm just not sure anymore. Um, so I'm going to get that tested, get the leaf samples compared between this and titri, and uh, we'll see what's going on with those. But let me know your thoughts. Very exciting to see things growing and really expressing themselves in this season. We're seeing a lot of interesting things, like which ones have more anthocyanins, more reddish color in that new growth, and all sorts of other characteristics. But... This row and the next row are going to be full of new varieties that we're testing, both that already exist and ones that we are germinating from seeds and, you know, stratifying for specific qualities. So we're going to have a lot of new stuff going on right now. There's a lot of holes that need to be filled and are being filled with all of that. So I imagine in the next few weeks we'll have some good updates on some of the stuff that is going into these rows and some exciting plants for the future that you guys will be able to own too as we release them in the nursery. So thank you guys as always for watching. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.